This is navigation one plotting a course. So in this example we have from Reno Island, from Reno Illet, sailing 20 minutes at 12 knots at 150 degrees, then 30 minutes at 10 knots at 307 degrees, then 25 minutes at 12 knots at 32 degrees. So effectively we're going to start off at a little island here and we're going to chart where our course is going to be. So the first thing to do is figure out that from Renault Islet, find Renault Islet on the map and here it is squared Renault Islet and here's the island itself. So sailing 20 minutes at 12 knots at 150 degrees. So the first thing, let's have a look at our bearings. Bring the compass rose into place. From the middle of the compass rose out, we should be able to find a bearing, and we're going at a bearing of 150. 150 is over here. So we want to go through 150 and through the middle of the compass rose. So that will be a bearing of 150. Hold the rolling ruler firmly by the rolling section. Roll it into place until it's above Renault Islet itself. And draw a line. Okay, so that's the direction that we're heading on that line somewhere. Now we need to know just how far we've been. Okay, so we're given 20 minutes at 12 knots, and a knot is going one nautical mile per hour. And so in one whole hour, we should be doing 12 nautical miles. So one hour equals 12 nautical miles. But we've only gone for 20 minutes. So from one hour to 20 minutes, we've divided by three. So 12 nautical miles divided by three, we should really only be going to four nautical miles. Okay, so a nautical mile, four nautical miles. A nautical mile will be the same thing as one degree of, of longitude. So if we have a look at our map, the map is actually facing this way. So these ones here are our degrees of longitude. So here is 25 degrees. Here is 30 minutes, oh, sorry, this is actually 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So that length there is um, 25, I've got one, two, three, four, five breakups between five, 25 and 30. So each one of these would be one minute. Okay, so getting our dividing, so we're getting our dividers out at the moment. Dividers have two points. Now what we want to do is find out four minutes. And so over here, if we start at a nice neat number like here, 25, we should be counting out four minutes. One, two, three, four. So that distance is what we need. 25 down to there, four minutes. Okay, so four minutes distance is the same thing as four nautical miles. So starting from Renault Islet, we've gone four nautical miles out, so we have a position like that. And what I'm going to do is just mark that with a pen so I can see where I am. So our first bearing and distance has already been, has already been done. So let's have a look at the next section. Then 30 minutes at 10 knots at 307 degrees. Okay, so Let's have a look at the bearing first, 307 degrees. Let's bring our, our compass rose into place. 307 degrees is up over here, about there. So once again, rolling roll through 307 degrees and through the middle of the compass rose. And then roll it back. Now remember, we want to go the direction from the middle of the compass rose out to 307. So we're going from the middle out. So we are somewhere along that line there. We're going this direction. So the next thing we need to know is how far? 30 minutes at 10 knots. So once again, 30 uh, one hour would be 10 nautical miles. So 30 minutes 
would be one hour to 30 minutes would be divided by two. Ten nautical miles divided by two would be five nautical miles. Okay, so we have a distance of five nautical miles to plot out. Bring it back in line and have a look at our section, like we worked out before, 25 minutes to 30 minutes will be five nautical miles because a minute is a nautical mile.